Good morning, class. We're working on project 7-4 to uh, a two-page resume. And the data file is MZ Resume 2. So open that data file and you're going to save it as MZ Resume 2 Update. And as we're viewing this resume, we see that this resume is two pages and it does not have page numbers on it. So today we're going to learn how to customize res uh, more how to customize margins, how to apply headers and footers with their built-in headers and footers, and how to remove the content control. Now we've we've we have already applied built-in headers and footers before, and we've removed the content control. So you should be pretty proficient in uh, those two items. So let's get started. We're going to go to the page layout tab on our ribbon. We're going to click on margins and <clears throat> we're going to go to custom margins. And we're going to make all the margins 1.25. And I just find it easier just to click in the box and type 1.25 in. And if you make a mistake, just delete it and start again. Okay, I'm on my right one, and one is there, 0.25. And once you do that, you just click OK, and you see the margins have changed. Uh, now we're going to go to our Insert tab on the ribbon, and we're going to click in. We're going to go to the Header and Footer group because we're going to uh, put in our built-in header. We're going to click on the Header command. And the header that we're looking for is called stacks. So you scroll down till you find stacks. And once you find stacks, you select it. Okay. We're going to type in resume of Michael J. Zubra. So just type that in. Then we're going to go to the options and we're going to click on different first page because we want a different first page. We already have his name here. We don't really need his name in the header. So we we really want a different first page. We want this information in the header to show up on the second page. But I see I, I made a mistake in his uh, name. So I'm going to go down to my status bar. And it has an X there on a, on a book. And I'm going to click that. And it should have give me the right spelling for Michael. And that is correct. And his last name is Z-U-B-E-R-I, so this name is correct. Go to the options group and click in different first page. Because I want a different first page. And I'm going to double click to see the information is on my second page. Okay. I'm going to scroll back up to my first page. And I'm going to go back to the insert group. And I'm going to go to headers and footers, and I'm going to click on the footer command. And I want the stacks footer, the same exact footer that I have for my header, stacks. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to remove this content control. So I'm going to highlight where it says company type and company name. I'm going to right click and remove content control. And I'm going to double click out in the white area to close my footer. I'm going to view this in my backstage view, file, print. I'm going to view this document. I'm clicking on second page. And I see it is perfect. Now I can save it. And I will see you in project 7-5. Thank you.